Well, we're just going to continue. We're just going to continue the lesson from yesterday today, and we were talking about percent composition. And please make sure you watch the videos from yesterday and did that homework. So today we're going to see how else can we use this. Not only can we find the percent composition. For example, yesterday we discovered how to find the percent composition of hydrogen and of oxygen in water, right? And those are the values we found yesterday. So imagine they ask you a question like this: How much hydrogen? is in 17.5 grams of water. So notice, they're asking you about the amount of hydrogen in a certain amount of water. Well, we know water is 11.19% hydrogen, right? So we can set up a proportion like this. And when we put something like that in a proportion, I just have to say, well, 17.5 times 11.19 divided by 100, or any way you want to solve that proportion, I'm not gonna tell you how to do that. I mean, that proportion is something you learned like in third grade or fourth grade. So just hold the proportion to the butterfly, whatever whatever you like, it doesn't matter. So I'm gonna say 17.5, right? And I'm using my calculator. I multiply that as 11.19 and divide that by 100. And I would say that my x is equal to 1.95825 grams of hydrogen in water. But notice, I have to look at six ticks, and I have three six ticks, so my answer would be 1.96, the eight runs the five okay, grams of hydrogen in water. And this would be my final answer. Notice here, we do have, yesterday we didn't have six ticks, because there was nothing we had measured, but here, the initial value has six ticks, so we have to apply six ticks. And I'm not going to do more examples of this. This is way too simple. Uh, so the other thing that we could do is that tell you that there's some there's some chemicals which we call hydrates. And the reason we call we call them hydrates, hydrates like hydrogen and bounce, I guess, but it's more like hydro, like water molecules that have trapped water. So these molecules, oh, look, my cat is visiting again. These molecules actually have trapped molecules of water inside them. Okay. And there, there's not a new substance with the water, no, but just like a substance and just trap water molecules around it. So, if, for example, here, have copper to chloride, right? I notice that it's just copper to chloride, so we call this anhydrous. Anhydrous means no water, right? But this copper to chloride, it could actually trap water. It could trap one, two, three, four, five molecules of water. If it's one, we would call it copper to chloride monohydrate, one water. If we get two molecules of water, we'll call it copper to chloride dihydrate. Three molecules of water, it will be trihydrate, four tetrahydrate, etc. That's the same rule that we have for covalent for, with the prefixes. And again, so these hydrates are molecules that have trapped molecules of water inside it. And we can actually figure out the percent of water trapped inside it. How? Well, we find the molar mass, precisely how we did the other thing. But now instead of separating Counting how much copper, how much chlorine, how much hydrogen, or how much oxygen we have, we're going to count all of it together. So the molar mass of copper to chloride, the anhydrous, is this. And it has one water, so I can add those two together, and that's my total mass for the copper to chloride plus the water, right? So what is the percent of water in this molecule? Just divide that percent by the total, right? By the total. So the mass of water by the total would give me 11.32%. Notice how it changes if I have two water molecules. This is the copper to chloride dihydrate. Well, the original, the base copper to chloride molar mass stays the same, but now we're adding two waters. The total is bigger because this one has more water, right? So when I do my division, is the total water divided by the new total mass. You see that? So nothing changes. It's the same thing. The water divided by the molar mass. If it's one water, one. If it's two waters, two. If it's three waters, three, divided by the molar mass of total green. Notice here the water has become 21.13% of the whole compound. And that's it. There, there's really not much to do. This, these topics are very simple. So what I need you to do is go to Schoology. Uh, there's a PowerPoint and there's actually no explanation on this anymore. I think this is very self-explanatory. But there's gonna be um, some problems for you to do. Some where I just ask you to find the mass of a certain element in a compound. 
And software has asked you to find the percent of water in a compound. And that's it. Please turn that in today. Oh, guys, there's, there's two, there's two assignments today. One of them is just the one I'm going to use for attendance. It's just asking you why is a hydrate. Guys, so just please answer with a comment. Just comment there. Why is a hydrate? It's molecules that have trapped water in them. You know, that's all you have to say. You get, you get your attendance for answering that question. The other one is the practice problems, and you have until the end of the of the day today to answer that one. Okay, I'll talk to you tomorrow Wednesday. Take care.